Good morning, everyone. Grab you a cup of coffee, fill your cup up, and sit down and listen to what I'm about to tell you, because this may be your last cup of coffee if they have their way with it. So make sure you stay tuned for this. Got your cup of coffee? I got mine. It's really good. Nice hot, hot cup of coffee. Something that most people tend to grab first thing in the morning. Give them a little boost to get them through the day. Sometimes in the afternoon even, right? Well, we have some people out there that want to make a stop to it. A uh, WEF speaker, well, he claims coffee is environmentally destructive. Okay. And uh, let me get right back to where I wanted to be on my computer. I had to put my glass on for this here. Um, but yeah, coffee is now something on the chopping block. Um, during a panel discussion at the WEF in Switzerland um, last week, banker Hubert Keller said coffee production is bad for the environment and it's uh, exacerbating ex the climate change. Okay, um, the coffee that we all drink emits, hold on just a second. Between 15 and 20 tons of uh, CO2 per tons of coffee, he said. Every time we drink coffee, we are putting CO2 into the atmosphere. The assessment came after another WEF speaker described fishing and farming. Yeah, fishing and farming as, well, it's environmentally destructive activities, too. Get my camera up just a little bit higher. Okay, the same speaker advocated for destructive activities to be recognized as E C O C I D I E C O C I D E. I should say <laughs> E C O C I D E. Okay, under new international laws that would punish crimes against nature in the same way genocide is prosecuted. The WEF has also advocated for plant-based diets, the widespread use of electric vehicles, and the introduction of tiny homes to replace traditional dwellings. Okay, the only thing I do agree with on that would be the tiny homes, because there is such a lack of housing around the country. Okay, but <laughs> and he went on, and one of the reasons because uh, most of the coffee plantations, or most of the coffee is produced through monoculture, and monoculture is also affected by climate change. The quality of these natural assets is deteriorating quite rapidly. Keller is a managing partner of the global wealth management from Lumberd, a bank deeply committed to the environment, social and co co uh, corporate governance philosophy, but he is not the first person at the WEF to attribute climate change to coffee. Okay. So how much coffee do they, you know, suggest that we uh, bring our coffee consumption down? Hold on just a minute. That's just so good. Well, not one, two, or three cups. One or two cups, let's say. This is what they're saying. Not one or two cups per day. Okay, one or two cups. I'm just getting started, you guys. Okay, um, not one or two cups per day. <clears throat> not one or two cups per week. And not only one or two cups per month. 
we're talking one or two or maybe three if you get really lucky for a year. Okay. Are you kidding me, people? <laughs> Are you kidding? Okay. Are they going to put tea out there on the chopping block? Maybe you're not a coffee drinker. Will tea be next? Hmm. Makes you wonder. But, you know, I, I guess they have a solution because they're working on lab uh, lab coffee. <laughs> so you can still get your coffee. So, guys, why do I stock up on coffee? I can't imagine why I would ever stock up on coffee. Coffee will be around forever, right? Hmm. Will it? How much do you like your coffee? Well, if you like your coffee as much as I like mine, you know what to do, right? <laughs> um, it's just, you know, like I say, you can't make this stuff up. Uh, if it's not one thing, it's another. And now it's our Java guys. <laughs> Our nice hot cup of coffee that we wake up to every morning, good to the last drop. Mm. You can't make it up. If it's not one thing, it's another. What will it be next, guys? And we wonder why we prepare. <laughs> well, that should be pretty simple. It should be very simple. But, you know, if you have any coffee you want to send my way, you know, uh, feel free. <laughs> I'll drink it for you. Anyway, guys, I wanted to bring it to your attention. I'm going to drink my cup of coffee and probably make me another pot when I'm done. So... Catch you in the next video, guys. To look God bless. Stay safe out there. And, uh... <laughs> stock up. See you later. God bless. Bye.